dear friends, I greet you all with much joy from Manila, where I am based as a Comboni missionary. Of course, you realize already that I'm not a Filipino. I am a Portuguese by birth. I was born in Portugal in 1972, 48 years ago. And after my journey of formation uh, in different places, I was ordained in 1998 after which my desire was to work in Africa. And yet my superiors asked me to work on vocation promotion and mission animation of the local church in Portugal, at the example of St. Daniel Comboni. Full of enthusiasm as a young priest, I accepted it wholeheartedly. I worked for five years among the young people, but the desire for mission was always there. And so, after those five years, I asked to be sent in mission, hoping that this time, yes, the African dream would become true. Such was not the orientation of the superiors as they assigned me to Asia, a new world that I really did not know at all. So with open heart, I landed in the Philippines in 2003 to start this journey of work here. Coming among the Filipino people, the first thing I realize is you are among a land of smiles. People are warm and welcoming. I yes, I had fears, I had doubts, I have hesitations, and yet this closeness of the people in their simplicity, in their humility, opened ways immediately to start a new journey in relationship with the people with whom I mingle every day. One of the things that I appreciate the most in the missionary work here is to be with. That is a very powerful lesson that I learned in Loco. I have thought always of mission of doing great things. Well, that has not been my case. I actually have done very small and simple things, but one important aspect of this missionary work is to share life with the people. I was so blessed when I was given the opportunity almost at the beginning of this journey to live in an area called Mariveles in the northern province, about 200 kilometers away from Manila. And there I mingled with the local fishermen. What a beautiful experience. People who live day to day hoping that their catch is enough to fill their bellies and their families. Sometimes does not happen, so hunger is a reality, and yet there are smiles, and yet there is hope, and that really touched my heart. Yearly I was asked to offer the blessing of the seas and of their boats. For me it was something new, but it made sense, for indeed the sea provides, is the source of life for these people, and the boats is all they need to survive. And so I recall those beautiful celebrations by the seashore, blessing the boats, blessing the seas, blessing the people. If there is a lesson I'm very grateful for to the Lord for these 18 years of service among the Filipino people is that indeed we do not need to do miracles to communicate the great love of God for His people. It is by sharing life with, eating what they eat, mingling with them, take time to listen to their stories, that we can indeed make a common journey. My dear friends, I greet you all from Manila. I'm still here until God wants me to be here. Then I shall move on. For the time being, thank you for watching and I wish you all the Lord's blessings.